Yes, it's Travis. How you all doing? Everyone knows who I am. Well, not everyone, but if you're subscribed to the channel, then you know who I am. And what's this here? It looks like I've got a black eye, but I haven't. Just yeah, I think it's just the angle of how I'm sitting. And as you can see, I am. Hang on a minute. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a funny angle. Let me try to sit it. There we go. It looks weird. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm sitting nice and cosy sort of thing under the house. Position prime in front of the cricket, I might say. You know, I knew that already. Someone's sending me met. Uh, someone's telling me they've got some cast alloy from an engine. I'll get to them later. Anyway, um... Today I'm going to do a video, and we're going to uh, scrap a light. Not just any normal light, kind of like a, uh, a floodlight of sorts, I guess you could call it. So um, I'm going to do that, and I'll also show you what it looks like finished. The goodies anyway that I've collected from the uh, one that I've just done not long ago. But we're going to do this one because I've got two of them. Well I had two, but I've done one. But we're going to do another one together. Because they were both been fined. And um, I've just been sitting around and sitting around. And well, seeing that we're kind of just chilling out, isolating while the missus is up. Uh, so waiting on confirmation of whether she has COVID or not. Both I've got time just to clean up the loose ends before I go back to work myself. So let's just flip this around and we'll uh, have a look at what we've got. Okay, so this is the uh, floodlight that I'm talking about. It's uh, a pretty straightforward light. And uh, the evidence was uh, me doing that not long ago. I'll have a bit of a look behind it. There you go. All aluminium or cast aluminium of sorts and um, this here is the finished product okay that bit there okay this is from this part here and where is it oh, what have I done with it oh you idiot there okay this part here is what's inside here and this is basically covering a circuit board. You have a look to the side there like that. You can see the circuit board there. I'm probably going to dig it out. I'll remove the circuit board because I want to keep this uh, extruded aluminium. As I said, that goes with there. And here you go. Nice cast alley. Whatever you want to call it, I think it's cast. You know, it's very nice. It looks pretty pretty as well. So that is that. Let's get started on that one. Okay, so the first thing we're going to remove, as you can see the view, is this and this. It requires an Allen key for this one and an Allen key for this one. I don't have this particular size, so um these vice grips work with the first one so I'm hoping that they work again with this one just grip it and twist it so hopefully it will also happen here so I'm going to proceed with this rip these out and then we'll go from there again and before I proceed I should make, just make a quick mention that this is on both ends of the handle okay this is holding the handle in as you can see here, it runs along the top and out the back here as well. So, four screws to remove. So let's get her underway, eh? Unreal. And I'll continue. Rightio. That's done. That comes straight out. Unreal. It's uh, reasonably somewhat heavy steel, I guess you could call that. And that will go with my heavy steel pile. Next thing, we're going to remove these Allen key screws. And again, as you can see, it is on both ends. 
we shall remove that with the uh, same tool attachment that removed the top section. If you can't access it, try bending this part out just a little bit or just give it a bit of a whack with a hammer so that way you can access it with your, uh, with your uh, drill. Okay, Allen key screws have been done. Shall remove it. Although, I've just got a clip. That wire. So I'll just cut that down the bottom. Awesome. I'll move that to the side. Dropping a hammer. Never mind. So next, what I'll do is, again, it's a bit hard to see, minus, minus the shadow. More Allen key screws in here, at the, this side, and again, up the opposite end. This requires an even thinner Allen key. I don't have a bit to uh, fit, so I can unscrew it with the uh, cordless. So I'm gonna have to do it manually. And then that will remove these two steel bits on either end here. I'm gonna remove that, we'll come back. Now I've removed the Allen keys, so I shall remove the steel. We'll put it aside. Now I'm not going to bother opening this up for you because you had a bit of a look at it before at the very beginning. As I said, that's what it looks like. It is just a gelled up circuit board. So. I will remove this circuit board and I will remove the gel. It's not very hard to remove. Um, the gel is very soft, or reasonably soft. And it's basically, I'll just use a uh, flathead screwdriver and I'll just dig it out. It's not that hard in my view, because I really want the uh, extruded aluminium shell. The circuit board is just gonna be a bonus for my uh, efforts, I guess you could put it. Next thing, we're going to go around this here and I'm going to remove the screws to remove this plastic cover. So the screws have been removed, take this off, toss it to the side. The screws to remove it were just your normal uh, Phillips head star shaped screws, nothing special. Now we come to this part here. We have these raised screws here, as you can see them in the video. Um, these are brass, so make sure you set them aside and chuck them in your clean brass collection. To remove them, my way is again, using these things, I use them quite a lot, for lots of things, they're very versatile. So I'm gonna go around, unscrew these, and then, after that, I will reuse this Allen key bit again, a skinny one, because it is used to uh, unscrew what you can see here. The Allen key screws here all around it. We'll be back to remove this plastic cover. Right, yeah, so we, we've removed the brass, as you can see. Put that aside, I'll throw it in the uh, clean brass bucket. And we've also removed these uh, stainless steel screws. They are slightly magnetic, so... Put them aside in the stainless pile, I guess. For the ones that are slightly magnetic. I mean, there are different grades of stainless. Some can be slightly magnetic, some not magnetic at all. But for me, I couldn't care less. I just throw it in my normal screws bin, which will all be sold as uh, steel later on. In she goes. And now we shall remove this. Okay, cast aluminium. We'll put that aside. Because that's my goodies. And then we shall remove this. Off this plastic cover comes throw it away. Now in here we have a whole heap of more screws. 
just your normal star shaped heads or whatever you want to call them Phillips head and uh, we'll, we'll remove all these and we'll uh, come back and show you the finished result so you may be wondering why don't you show us physically unscrewing them reason being is that um, I'm just trying to save time with the video instead of it dragging on showing unnecessary bits and pieces I'm trying to just improve it so that way you don't have to see that crap you know what happens when you unscrew all these things it's slow and boring well, let's just get on with it and show you what it looks like when it's all done there you go. screws have been removed so we're just going to remove this plastic hopefully this we're lucky this plastic is broken comes out nice and easily when I first saw this piece I was hoping it might have been made of aluminium but unfortunately it isn't it is just uh, plastic or like a cardboard or some sort of thing so again it's just rubbish so what I'm going to do here is just going to uh, cut these wires here from the center Don't mind the wobble. See what I mean? Flip straight out. I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know. It's something hard sort of thing anyway. I don't know what you want to call it. It ain't cardboard. Uh, I'm not exactly entirely sure what the material is, but it doesn't matter, it's rubbish. And that is now what we're left with. A nice, clean, cast aluminium body. Don't mind these little spots, that was just from glue holding down that uh, base before on here. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go about removing these. And these parts here on the outside, these screw things, they're brass as well. So uh, make sure you keep them aside. So again, to remove them, this is what I use. If you have the appropriate tools that I don't have, go ahead and use it. But this is what I'll be using to unscrew it. It seems to work fine for me. So let's get this out and we'll come back. Okay, so that has now been removed cleaned up and now we have a nice brass bit as you can see clean brass thank you very much and that my friends is this light complete I've weighed it I weighed the other one actually, I weighed the other one and its weight was 2.1 kilos. So uh, not too bad, not too bad and it didn't take really too long at all. Um, I, for me, I was happy to do it, bin find, it was free, no arguments there. So that bin find provided me with 4.2 kilos of this cast aluminium because of the two. A bit of steel over there which you can't see. This thing here as you've seen before. Yeah, there, see? And uh, again, this is more extruded aluminium, this will be. So uh, I will tidy all this up later on and I will remove the gel, the circuit board, yada yada yada. So let's turn this up. There we go. Look at my, look at my. Let me just put this over here too. So not the sun in my face. And there we go. And that, my friends, is that. Nice and simple. And I haven't made the video drag on for too long. Look at that. Might cut this at 15 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this up pretty quickly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bedding, yada, yada, yada. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great afternoon, night, morning, whatever.
Peace out, my friends. Catch you later.